Hi there, my name is Lawrence Tyndall and in today's ServiceNow tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a data policy in the system. Before we get started, I'm going to explain what a data policy is. A data policy is a server-side rule that allows administrators to set read-only and mandatory attributes to fields within a table. Unlike UI policies, data policies are set on the server side and are enforced regardless of how the record is being updated. For example, a UI policy that made a field read-only on a form wouldn't prevent a user from populating it using an import set. Whereas if a data policy was created to make a field read-only, users wouldn't be able to populate the field regardless of the methods they tried to use. Data policies are great to use if you wish to enforce data integrity across your records. They're especially useful if you have tables in which you frequently import records using import sets. In today's demo, we're going to create a data policy on the hardware asset table that makes the serial number field read-only when the field is not empty. That way, it will prevent users from changing the serial number of an asset once it's been entered. To get started, open up ServiceNow and in the Application Navigator, type in Data Policies. Click on the Data Policies module located underneath the System Policy application. You'll now be navigated to the Data Policies list view that includes all of the data policies within the system. Click on the New button. You'll now be navigated to this blank data policy form. In the first field, Table, I'm going to select the ALM underscore hardware table. In the next field, Inherit, this field allows you to implement the data policy on other tables that are extended from this table. For this data policy, I'm going to leave it unchecked, since I don't want extended tables to be able to use this data policy. In the next field, Reverse if False, this field allows you to make the data policy reverse its action if the conditions are false. Then in the next set of fields, apply to import sets, apply to SOAP, and use as UI policy on client. These three fields allow you to control if the data policy should be enforced when importing data via an import set, creating or updating records via SOAP, and if the data policy should be applied as a UI policy. I'm going to leave all of these fields checked as the options selected are what I'm looking for. In the short description field, I'm going to enter make serial number field read only when populated. For the conditions, I'm going to select the serial number field and then the not empty operator. Now right click on the form header and click save. Now that the data policy has been saved, you'll see that there is a data policy rules related list located towards the bottom of the form. This section allows you to define the actions in which you want to have happen when the conditions of the data policy are met. To create our rule, click on the New button. In the first field, Field Name, select the Serial Number field. Now set the Read Only field to True. Click on the Submit button to save this data policy rule. Now that we've created this data policy, let's go over to the Hardware Asset module and create a record. As you can see, I've created a Hardware Asset record without a serial number, and the serial number field is still editable. Now if I populate the serial number field and save the record, the field is now read-only and cannot be edited. And it's as simple as that, creating a data policy is a fairly easy task and it can help you enforce data integrity across records in your system. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe.